Hey guys, Miles here, Tactile Hive, and today I'm going to talk about something that you can do to your, your pistols to shoot better and to help with a uh, recoil. And uh, that is playing around with your recoil spring. All uh, striker fired guns, for all gun pistols are going to have a, a recoil spring that um, is actually attached. Let me actually open this up, this Glock here so you can see it. Okay. It's going to be by a guide rod here and you will have your recoil spring on top of that, okay? And so the recoil spring is something that you can modify on your pistol to improve your shooting, to, to decrease um, felt recoil, and to also get your sights back on target much faster. Now here's the thing, before we dive into what it can possibly do for you, how it can help your shooting, this is a Glock 34 and uh, I'm using it for competition. So I fiddle around, I'm one of these, uh, I'm getting into competition, but I, I'm the type who doesn't really want to fiddle with too much. I want to keep my weapons as much as close to stock as possible. But when you're getting into sport competition, the truth is many people will tell you, you're not going to be very competitive unless you start customizing your gun. So the, the, the recoil spring is one of those items that is a must. Now, before I dive into the topic of this particular video, my stock weapons, like this stock lock right here, all I have is a match barrel and new sights. Everything else is stock, okay? And I would not be fiddling with the recoil spring or anything else on my carry guns, all right? So, and I, and I recommend that to you. If you want to change things up, go for it. But um, what, whatever I carry, I don't really touch anything. Maybe for the barrel, except for the barrel and the sights, that's it. Because I want it to be reliable. I want it to work every single time. Um, I will let you know um, uh, from testing and always fiddling around with different parts or uh, modifying things that things can go wrong, right? And you will have malfunctions and they're caused by the modifications, all right? So just keep that in mind. Uh, I am doing this for my uh, for a competition pistol, all right? I, I would not touch any of my everyday carry pistols and, and start modifying things. But that said, what does the, the actual recoil spring do? Okay, so there's different weights. So um, I'm not a gunsmith, I'm not an expert in terms of all of the, the physics and all the mechanics behind the guns, but I do know, and I can explain it in layman's terms. So there's different weights for your springs, and that's going to affect how the slide cycles back and forth with your weapon. So here with the Glock 19 here, so the spring is going to provide tension, and you can change the weight from, let's say, 11 pounds up to 18 pounds, you know, so there's different kinds of springs and different weights. And typically with a Glock, for example, Glocks, I believe the, I believe it's 16 pounds. 16 pounds is standard um, weight for the recoil springs. And what I have right here are a 11 and a 15 pound recoil spring. I actually took out the, the stock spring. And so what you will notice is that um, uh, with the 11 pound, with the lighter it is, what's going to happen is there's going to be that the slide is going to cycle back. And because the spring is light, what's going to happen is when it actually goes forward, the slide goes, is sent forward, it's actually going to stay level, more level. If I have a heavy spring, imagine after I break the shot, the slide goes back. Okay, and because it's a heavy spring, there's a chance that as it goes forward, my nose, my muzzle will dip. And so it's gonna be harder to get my shots on target. Okay, so there's a fine balance there here, here though, and this is where you're gonna have to experiment. So technically speaking, a very heavy, heavy recoil spring is going to allow or actually push the muzzle down when the slide is sent forward. And that's bad because, as I was saying, um, you're not going to be able to get your target on sights quick because it's gonna go up and it's gonna go down past your point of aim and then you're gonna to have to bring it back up so it slows you down. But with a heavier recoil spring, it also can technically help you get your target on, get your, your sights on target faster if you find the right weight for your weapon and for your shooting style. What do I mean by that? If it's really heavy, I already explained, if it's really heavy, it'll go up. The recoil spring, if it's heavy, it will push the, the muzzle down and then you have to go back and find your sights on target. But if you find the right balance here, what might happen is you might have a heavy spring, heavier than let's say 11 pounds, but it's just enough that it gets your target, your sights on target fast, and it doesn't dip. Okay, so that's something you'll have to experiment with. Um, a lot of sports shooters will use, uh, um, uh, will change up their springs and use lighter springs, and they'll find, they will find that weight that allows them to have less felt recoil while getting their shots on target faster, or their, their sights on target faster, with avoiding that dip. 
So just to demonstrate, here I am shooting, taking a few shots with 11 pound recoil spring using uh, my Glock 34. And uh, you'll see that um, it does, after the shot breaks, the muzzle uh, um, moves up, which uh, is normal. And when it uh, dips down, uh, you will see that um, it actually stays pretty flat. So the muzzle doesn't um, move down towards the ground and make it hard for me to get my sights on target. Now, in this next uh, segment here, you'll see me shooting my Glock 34 with a 15 pound recoil spring. And you'll notice here, everything's the same in the sense that, okay, the slide moves back, but you'll notice it actually dips a little bit at the very end. So what does that mean in terms of performance for a shooter. That means that I'm gonna to have to get my sights back on target, all right? because it actually dipped beyond the point of aim that I wanted and now I have to readjust. So as you can see, using recoil springs, there's a lot of testing involved. What works for my gun and for my style of shooting won't work for you, but there's absolutely a difference. Um, so try it out, test it out, but keep in mind, remember, I would only suggest this for your recreational shooting or sports shooting rigs, um, definitely not for your carry weapon. Give it a try and let us know how it goes.